So, continuing on the custom card review streak, we're going to be talking about LR, Limit Breaker, Super Saiyan Force, and this is coming in from my guy, Salted Ham. Now, those of you who don't know who Salted Ham is, first things first, I don't expect you guys to know who that is, but this person is pretty much was the reason I was doing entropy videos back when that entropy videos were so fun to do i'm i'm never gonna not admit that i thought entropy videos were so fun to do too bad that stuff happened and you know i wasn't able to do any more videos um but back when before all that tobacco stuff happened i had so much fun making those videos i gotta be completely honest and salted ham is the person that put me on to the private server he's the one that put me on to it so this is a and this is the custom card is coming from yours truly that being salted ham shout out to ham so yeah just i gotta give credit where credit's due if someone puts me on to something i gotta give as much love as possible shout out to you ham seriously so uh ham says hey that oh wait what am i doing bhdev custom cards at gmail.com so you, i can go ahead and review your custom cards in the uh near future i'll get all the older custom cards out of the way did i say bhdev custom cards or bhdev custom card bhdev custom cards gmail.com okay you guys see it. it's right below me it's gonna scroll in scroll out so uh ham says hey dev this is ham it's been a while it really has uh if you'd like i have another custom card to submit and i think i saw your custom card um i saw i think i saw a recent sent one like a recently sent one so yeah shout out to you man Okay, so, uh, okay, so, custom card to submit, this time being an LR of the Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4s that do the dual Dragon Fist. Okay, attached will be their animated art kit and uh, animation concept. The art and animation concept are in the drive link, so I could fit it in the, the email size limit art link, of course, as well as the animation concept. I have everything pulled up. We're... We're ready to go. And guys, I got pretty lazy. I'm not going to lie. I scrolled down so that it wouldn't show his email. <laughs> Listen, editing dev, having to do less, it's a win. It's a win-win to me. It's a little win for me. But um, <laughs> uh, with that being said, shout out to you, Ham. Seriously, huge shout out to you, bro. Uh, but I already have all the stuff pulled up. So I don't, I don't really need to scroll back up. Um, there's something at the bottom. He says, uh, I tried to make them a good slot one for the heroes team, as well as a rainbow orb changer for them. I hope you enjoy and keep the great videos coming. Yo, yesterday, sh Jeff showed love. Today, Ham showing love. Yo, I, I love y'all. You guys... I hope you guys don't think I'm capping when I say I don't love you guys. I love you guys. I absolutely do. Don't be saying that just to say it. Don't just... <laughs> you guys get the gist. Anyways, uh, so let's go ahead and read the kit. All right, so Shattering Velvet, super full power, Saiyan 4, Limit Breaker, Goku, so you know. And super full power, Saiyan 4, Limit Breaker, Vegeta, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> so limit breaker lr super saiyan 4s they're super tech and their link set of course for anybody who's listening to this uh and not act actively watching the video because i know people uh i know usually people like to listen to my videos in the background so super saiyan experienced fighters prepare for battle kamehameha saiyan war fierce battle and legendary power are th their links and their leader skill is crossover join forces or pure Saiyans, three key and one 70% across the board. Any additional 30% of stats are to Kamehameha. Or plus an additional 50% of stats to Dragon Ball Heroes category. Interesting. So there's a 30% of stats to Kamehameha or a 50% of stats to Dragon Ball Heroes. So if you are a crossover, join forces... Uh, pure saiyans slash dragon ball heroes you're getting a 220 percent leader skill off these guys that's very very strong very strong and very helpful for the dragon ball heroes team of course and if you're just uh, on the kamehameha part of the uh leader skill you just get the flat 200 percent right uh so editing dev you already know what to do pull up the 200 percent leader skill 
So this is their 200% leader's guide. Just move myself up just to go ahead and showcase it. Um, just going off the top, I mean, Tech UI, you have the, you have both of the SSJ trios. You have the brand new physical one, that being the Gohan, Goku, and Trunks. And of course, you have the Vegeta, Goku, and Trunks right over here. Uh, what else do we have? AJ UI, um, Kai Goku for specific scenarios, I guess. STR, Super Vegito. Um, I'm glancing over a couple. Of course, you have Evo Ken, you have STR UI for, of course, specific situations because some people tell me that this guy doesn't dodge for them there's that uh you have angel super saiyan 3 goku of course the newer double contest you have uh dragon fist the str um of course goku from the rudigan movie um physical god goku so on so forth i mean you can still get some use out of this guy right and then you just go down and there's not really too many crazy looking options right not really i mean blue cow king goku would you throw this guy in the team we have to see what this this uh, cards kit is looking like for uh <laughs> for you to run him on this team, right? So uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and uh, just read out the categories real quick. Pure Saiyans, Full Power, Time Travelers, Joint Forces, Kamehameha, Dragon Ball Heroes, Giant Eight Power, Crossover, Defenders of Justice, Accelerated Battle, Power Beyond Super Saiyan, Bond of Parent and Child, and Power of Wishes is the categories for the LR Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta. Now, moving on over to the passive. Let me go ahead and put myself right back down here so you guys can see their art just a bit better. Perfect. Okay. All right. So passive. Awakening of a new key activates the interest animation once only and all allies get two key and 20% attack and defense for the rest of the battle when there is a crossover or pure sans category ally on the team. So a very easy and strong entrance animation buff is all you have to do is run a crossover slash pure sans category ally on the team. So very easy restriction to bypass. And the interest animation buff of giving two key and 20% attack and defense for the rest of the battle is very, very good. Should not have to explain why that's good. You guys should, I mean, come on. That's, that's a no-brainer, right? So four key and 240% attack and defense at the start of turn. And they get an additional 40% attack and defense with each super attack performed up to 160%. Plus an additional 40% defense for four turns after receiving an attack up to 120% at a time. And they are also a rainbow orb changer, of course, excluding tech type key spheres, of course, because their typing is tech. And they also have a unrestricted 40% damage reduction. And they get an additional 20% damage reduction with a rainbow key sphere obtained, going up to 60% damage reduction. And they launch an additional super attack for every three type key spheres obtained, or for every rainbow key sphere obtained. That's very strong, considering the fact that if you get really lucky and these guys have a row of what three or four rainbow key spheres or five if you get like uber lucky or if you're just running double rainbow orb changers on the team um then these guys are going to be doing stupid amounts of damage i mean right <laughs> uh anyways where are we at okay so they also change a type of key sphere tech excluded of course to tech key spheres for the next five turns after three or more rainbow key spheres are collected or after collecting five or more tight key spheres interesting and they guard all attacks after collecting a total of 24 key spheres throughout the battle and they also give crossover category allies two key and 40 percent attack and defense and they give an additional two key and 40% attack if those allies are super class. Holy hell, there is a lot to unpack here. We're going to swing right back to this after we see what these super attack effects are looking like. So their super attack effects, their 12 key, the Kamehameha and Gallic Gun. 30% defense for one turn while doing colossal damage to the enemy and lowering attack. So a good 12 key. And their 18 key, the... Uh, times 10 warp kamehameha and double atomic flash of course a fire 18 key super attack uh, name they greatly stack attack and they also get 30 percent defense for one turn while doing mega colossal damage to the enemy okay so 
good super attack effects of course your 18 key you do your first super you're greatly stacking your attacks you can immensely do much more damage as the fight goes on while of course getting that defensive buff for one turn on your 18 key too and of course this card is going to be doing multiple supers they're going to be gaining multiple defensive buffs for one turn on their 12 key while lowering the enemy's attack so a very useful uh, super attack to have for their 12 key because they're just going to be building up defense 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 within the turn and as you guys know defense is the meta what a surprise and their active skill limit breaker dragon not limit breaker dragon limit breaker double dragon fist excuse me there's two of them it's two of them so limit breaker double dragon fist they raise their attack by 400 percent temporarily and cause ultimate damage to enemy and within the turn activated their attacks become guaranteed crits okay <laughs> do keep in mind they're greatly stacking attacks so once they activate this active skill you guys can fill in the blanks can be activated start it from the fourth turn of battle or when there is a crossover category ally attacking in the same turn so you could do it instantly if you have a crossover character on the turn with you or fourth turn all right so they have good super attack effects of course uh they have a good active skill obviously a good act skill attack because you're going to be greatly stacking your attack throughout the fight and of course they have a good active skill because they're going to be turning the enemy into space dust because you're greatly stacking your attack and once you use your active skill the enemy's going to explode obviously uh and if the enemy somehow miraculously lives you are doing guaranteed crits throughout the turn okay um, going back and over to the passive, there is a lot going on here. So first things first, the thing that I noticed is that this card gives crazy support. If you are a crossover super class character, you are getting, uh, of course, from their entrance animation buff, of course, for their support type buff, you are getting combined, what well, that's two key and 20% attack and defense from their entrance animation buff. And then of course you add the additional two key and 40% of defense. No, I read that as two key and 40% attack and defense. That is incorrect. So I'm just going to go ahead and point that out that I said that before, but yeah, um, if you are a crossover super class character, you're going to get a combined two key and you're getting, no, you're getting a combined four key and 40% attack and defense. Yeah. Wow. Because he split the crossover uh, buff into just crossover category allies, two key and 40% defense. And you get additional two key and 40% attack if you are a super class character. All right. Of course, for specifically a crossover. So if you're a crossover super class character, you're getting four key and 40% attack and defense. And add that to the fact that from the interest animation support type buff, they're giving an additional two key and 20% attack and defense. That is in total six key and 60% attack and defense. That's crazy high. That's very, very good. Uh, so they're giving up to two key, not excuse me, two key. They're giving up to six key and 60% attack and defense, provided the condition is right and you are a crossover super class character while of course getting that all allies interest animation support type buff. So six key and 60% attack and defense ridiculous support they are also starting out with a high amount of attack and defense makes a lot of sense considering the fact that they're in lr of course getting four key and 240 percent attack and defense at the start of turn they build up their attack and defense very easily considering the fact that all they have to do is get rainbow orbs and they do a guarantee super that's that's very good and they're a rainbow orb changer so their rainbow orb changing is directly supporting their guarantee super that just that's just built into them so you get let's say you get five rainbow orbs right that's five supers <laughs> it's five supers <laughs> like <laughs> so um also they have up to 60 percent damage reduction built into their kit they have guard provide you what's that uh collect 24 keys throughout the battle so in the early part of the fight they're strong in the late part of the fight they're still strong because they're going to gain guard at the within around the end of the fight i feel like the boss is going to be dead before you get those 24 key spheres right probably not maybe i'm going crazy but uh yeah so this card i mean what do i even say <laughs> and not to mention another thing i forgot to mention the fact that they also are a tech orb changer for the next five turns after collecting three or more rainbow key spheres so you collect three rainbow key spheres and they create tech key spheres for five turns 
So the, they're a double orb changer, that being to their specific typing, as well as being a rainbow orb changer that directly supports the fact that they can do up to five plus supers, just to put that out there. And for whatever reason that you don't get enough rainbow key spheres, um, they do a guaranteed super attack anyways, just by getting their three type key spheres, which they are already creating off of them getting their, what's that, three rainbow key spheres, or after collecting five or more type key spheres. This card is crazy. This card is crazy. So a double orb changer, so supporting their guarantee super that they can easily just they can, they can easily get that like, what a surprise so they can change tech and rainbow key spheres they get up to 60 percent damage reduction they build their attack and de defense very easily um they start out with a high amount of attack and defense which makes a lot of sense they give up to six key and 60 percent attack and defense uh, guard i mean come on now <laughs> guard 60 percent damage reduction double orb changer uh, support what do I even say? They're greatly stacking attack. They launch their active skill and just destroy the enemy. <laughs> what do you guys want me to say about that? It's they're, they're crazy. Um, did I forget to mention anything about this card? I think that pretty much covers it. And they also build up defense um for four turns after receiving an attack up to 120%. So they're they're getting rewarded for being hit. They get hit three times and they get up to 120% defense for four turns brother <laughs> with 60 percent damage reduction and guard provided the conditions are right okay all right um so uh let me just head back on over to the email we do have some animations here that i'm going to show now editing dev um you go ahead and keep your your editing software open just in case the toy ninjas come out of the the bushes and decide to strike my video um so i'm gonna keep up my editing software just in case on the side so that if you, if you guys see this and you see a cut i'm sorry it was toei but if you don't beautiful we get to look at some animations together all right so i already have them pulled up let me just pull this up and let me pull this up so this is right here their card art right which is pretty cool i ain't gonna lie it's pretty cool it's a little blurry though just a little bit blurry but um, you zoom out a little bit and you can kind of, you really can't see their eyes too well, but it looks good. You can see it from like, just stand back a little bit and look. Why does it look so clear before I play the video, but then after I click it, it looks so fuzzy. Um, anyways, we have the animations, right? Let's take a look at what we have here. Now I'm going to go ahead and mute it for myself. Uh, now, I would hope that I remember during editing that I have to have it can I do full screen it looks terrible full screen okay let's just do it like this just do it like this yeah that's fine um i think i just move myself over and it's not blocking it it's not perfect okay all right so let's just play it hopefully it is not too too loud i don't think it's gonna be too loud yeah we're just gonna leave it like that all right let's see what we got here so i think that was the interest animation oh Okay. Who was that? Is that the modified Geneva? Oh my god. Now I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Um, I've said this in the past. I'm not really the biggest Dragon Ball Heroes guy, but I will admit Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 is fine. I'm not even gonna act like that. Come on. I just I ain't gonna act like <laughs> Alright. I don't know what to say about this. Don't get cocky Kakarot, okay? So is that a part of oh Oh, that is a part of it. Yeah. And then it swaps over to what's that? That's Super Dragon Ball World Heroes, I think. The little world mission game. I promise you, I'm not yawning because of animations. <laughs> oh, gee, let's use that technique. Did you edit this yourself, Ham? My god, you're fire. You're fire for this. this I love this. I just can't hear nothing because oh wow that KO's great. That looks pretty good. Yeah. That was pretty W. Okay, so W animations. Um hopefully the Toei ninjas don't come through the bushes and hit me with a, a shuriken. Uh but anyways, uh send me custom cards over to BHF custom cards at gmail.com so I could get to your custom card in the near future. I'm gonna get all these older custom cards out the way. Um 
I don't really have much more to say. W card of Ham and huge shout out to you, man. Seriously, I def definitely got to give you a big thanks. Uh, you're you're a goat. But yeah, I uh, appreciate you guys for watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys next year. And I love you all. Look out for the custom card live stream tomorrow. Should I upload a video tomorrow? I'm probably not going to upload tomorrow. I'm probably just going to do the live and that'll be the upload for tomorrow, of course. So you guys can look at the VOD if you want to. But yeah, uh, <laughs> love you guys again and peace.